En quoi Please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. En... Reprise de l'audience. The court is now back in session. The floor is once again given to the prosecution to continue putting questions to this witness. You may continue. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Ying Palm, before the break, Monsieur you were giving evidence about avant la Ren pause, going to meetings in Phnom Penh. Rennes à Phnom Penh. My next question concerns the further dissemination downwards porte sur la through the military dont of les instructions. Ont ensuite été and you dealt with this at answer 13 in E3419. You were asked, and I quote, how did Wren disseminate information from those meetings to brigade division level after he returned from Phnom Penh? Did he talk about who had attended those meetings? Après son retour Answer. De Phnom Penh. After returning from Phnom Penh, réunions. Ren always called all brigade division commanders to meetings to tell them de what he had participated in pour while he was in Phnom Penh, and réunion to tell those who attended the meetings that the upper echelon Il attendees were just Pol Pot que les représentants and de Sen, supérieurs because they were responsible Pen, for the military. Pol Pot et Sen, As for the était content of the meetings, he spoke only about military strategy and planning focused on countering and fighting Vietnam. Que de End quote. Et des plans now, did you then pass on Ren's orders? To your les ordres de Rennes, les avez-vous relayés parmi vos propres soldats Thank you for your Réponse. question. After I received instructions from Ryan, Après I will disseminate les the information Rennes regarding the planning and the countering to my subordinates. Les plans, and je I les did that uh, through my regiment uh, levels. Je le faisais à mon niveau, celui du régiment. So that we have it clearly, you as the Question. brigade commander Vous étiez would then get regimental commanders brigade. together Vous and pass les orders to them. De régiment pour leur communiquer ces ordres. Est -ce exact? Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. I'd like to move on to another subject, Question. which is Je the number of thème. evacuations that took place during the democratic Kampuchea period from April 1975 through to January 1979. Uh, and this was covered in E3419. Il en est question dans le document E3 bar 419 à la réponse 15. And I quote. Je vais citer. This is the question from the investigator. Tout d'abord la quote. question posée par l'enquêteur. According to democratic Selon Kampuchea documents. Les documents du Kampuchea démocratique. There were three il y a large scale evacuations. Grandes évacuations. The first was in April la première 1975. a eu lieu en avril 1975. The second la was deuxième in mid au milieu until de l'année 75 et jusqu'en 78. The third was in May et la troisième a eu lieu en mai 1978. In your position as a military commander, did you know about these de evacuation plans? And your answer. Eu connaissance de ces plans I heard Ren personally talk about all those evacuation plans. 
parler and directement general, de ces plans d'évacuation. Even the ordinary Khmer Et en général, Rouge même un simple combattant Khmer Rouge en était au courant ou en avait I entendu parler. Saw them Personnellement, j'ai été le témoin de ces évacuations. Close quote. Fin de citation. Now, Mr. Ying Palm, we've, we've covered Monsieur April 1975 Pan, already. Nous avons déjà parlé du mois d'avril 1975. I'd like to ask you please about the second large-scale la deuxième grande évacuation that started in mid 1975. Can you help us please on where people were evacuated to? Or what the nature of the evacuation was that started in mid 1975. That started in mid 1975. I already stated uh, earlier Comme je déjà indiqué, the 1975 event. At that time, I was the special battalion commander, and three months after the liberation of Phnom Penh, my special unit was sent by the upper echelon to Takeo province, adjacent to the Vietnam border. So for the mid-1975 evacuation, I was not aware of it. I only heard about it, but I did not personally witness the evacuation, as I had already been sent to Mongkulbore district near the Vietnamese border. Now, in terms of what you heard about the evacuation that started in mid-75 until 1978, were, were people being moved from any particular area to another area, or can you not help us on this? Savez-vous si les gens étaient déplacés d'un endroit particulier à un autre endroit particulier ou n'étiez-vous pas au courant I already stated that uh, I could not explain to you because I did not witness it as I had already left uh, the area n'ayant pas été témoin that it's three months after the liberation in Phnom Penh, I was sent to Mukobore district. And at that time, I rarely returned home in three or four months' time. So what did you hear about the second evacuation? Question. Qu'avez-vous entendu dire concernant la deuxième évacuation? I only heard about it, but I was uh, myself. I did myself not receive any instructions from the upper echelon. I only heard that after the liberation of Phnom Penh, the people were evacuated to the provincial towns and then to further areas. Because at that time, Phnom Penh and provincial towns did not have many people as they were sent further. On disait que il y avait Let me put the question right this way. Dans d'autres villes, car ils avaient été envoyés ailleurs. Question. Je vais In your interviews, you said that the second dans, evacuation auditions, vous avez started in mid 1975 until 1978. Now, is this when people were being evacuated to provincial towns? pendant cette période que les gens étaient évacués vers des villes de province Yes, uh, that is correct. Réponse. People oui, had exact. been evacuated uh, from the cities and the towns. Les gens ont été Can you help us on any of the provincial towns or cities? Question that people were evacuated to during this period. Uh, 
regarding the evacuation, I was not uh, fully sure of the exact event, but uh, as in my native uh, village and about my relatives who lived in Phnom Penh, they were evacu evacuated back to our native village that is in Tramkot district, Takao province. And after I was sent to the border, and then one time I came to visit my native village, and I saw my relatives living in my native village who had been evacuated from Phnom Penh. You said in the extract I just quoted, I personally saw them evacuating those people. So that we're clear, what evacuation did you personally witness? As I just stated, I saw people evacuated during the time that I was engaged in the battlefield near the Pugentong Airport. Because at that time, once the battlefield was heated up, people fled from the area, people walked on foot, and sometimes they drove their vehicles. That was the event that I personally witnessed. Mr. Ingpan, thank you. Those are all the questions from me, but I'd like uh, at this stage, please, to hand over to my national colleague, Song Chowon, to uh, ask you some further questions. But I'm grateful. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, Mr. Witness Ying Pan. My name is Song Cho Won, representing the National Prosecutor. And I only have a few questions to add to what have already been asked by my international colleague. You already stated uh, in response to my colleague's questions regarding the screening of the lunar soldiers while you attacked along the road leading to Pujintong Airport. I'd like you to further clarify this point. My colleague asked you the question that when the entire subway zone attacked the area in Pochintong and people or civilians were evacuated from Phnom Penh for the purpose of monitoring who were the former lunar soldiers. And in your response to this question, you stated that you did not know about the arrest of the lunar soldiers. What you only said was that uh, the lunar soldiers wore uh, different uniforms from the Khmer Rouge soldiers. My question is the following. In order to know whether they were the lunar soldiers or the Khmer Rouge soldiers, were there any special marks in addition to the uniform, as you already stated? Answer. Thank you for your question. Je vous remercie de votre question. When we attacked the Pujantong Airport, and in particular from this area to the airport, which was my main target, there were civilians mixing with the soldiers. We could only recognize the soldiers who were wearing their uniforms. 
and uh, uh, not, a lot of uh, soldiers, in fact, uh, changed uh, their uniforms and wore civilian uh, clothing. And that's what happened after they, they changed the uniform and then they went to the rear and I did not know what happened to them at the rear. Thank you. Questions? You said there were Merci. some lunar soldiers who were still wearing the military uniforms. When those uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers arrested the lunar soldiers, what happened to those lunar soldiers? And uh, I already stated uh, earlier, during the attack on Phnom Penh, in particular in the Potitong Airport area, the upper echelon in fact gave us instructions regarding the universal principle of the prisoners of war that they should not be uh, tortured. So for those uh, soldiers who were arrested, they were sent to the rear. And that was out of our responsibility once we sent them to the rear. Then people at the rear or at the base would have to deal with them, and that was beyond my knowledge. Question. Did your upper echelon give us the reasons for the distinction between the lunar soldiers and whether the lunar soldiers who were arrested had to be sent to the rear? Pourquoi il fallait identifier les soldats de l'ONOL et pourquoi il fallait the heat of the battlefield? Réponse. It is common that each side had to monitor the situation and the people in particular to look for the weapons or grenades and we had to confiscate those uh, weapons. That was the main task of the military as it had uh, things to do with the security itself. Question. Can you recall Question. at that time whether those uh, soldiers under your supervision made any arrest of the lunar soldiers? Si des sous votre responsabilité ont arrêté des soldats de l'ONOL à ce, ce moment-là? Réponse. For my soldiers, we focused on advancing to the front. We did not focus on arresting the lunar soldiers. If we met those lunar soldiers, we would only confiscate their weapons and then they would be sent with the civilians to the rear. We only confiscate their weapons and ammunition. That's what happened in the battlefield. If our force had to deal with uh, sending or si dealing with those soldiers, then we would not have the forces to advance further. Ces, uh, so we only retain the weapons and the ammunition, and, and the people would be sent de to the rear. Les armes et les munitions. Question. Did you Question. meet a lot of uh, soldiers, uh, lunar soldiers, who were sent to the rear, if you can recall? Beaucoup de soldats de l'ONOL qui ont and so I cannot recall that because uh, there were a lot of uh, lunar soldiers in uh, various uh, divisions. There were hundreds and thousands of them from this area leading to Pukintong area. So it is difficult to put the exact number on uh, the, the, those soldiers. It was in the hundreds. Some of them uh, surrendered their weapons and then we would uh, collect those weapons. Thank you, Mr. Impan. Question. I'd like now move on to a new topic, but the topic has already been asked sujet. by my international colleague. Déjà Regarding the screening within the military framework, il des in your statement, that is E3 slash 419 in answer number 14. You stated that during the Khmer Rouge, there were screening within the military framework. If people who had uh, been found to have inclinations with the, lunar, with the high ranking lunar soldiers, 
they will be removed or sent to another location. For instance, the uh, agricultural uh, work sites to raise pigs, uh, chickens, to break rocks or to plant uh, cotton. My question is the following. At that time, how did you do it? How did you know whether the person had the inclination with the high-ranking lunar soldiers? How did you know if a person entertained the relationship with the soldiers of Lunol? It is not difficult to do the screening because at that time everyone had to write their biography, including myself. At that time, everyone had to write their biography, including myself. And in the biography, nobody dared to hide anything. Because based on the biographies, then people would be sent to their native villages to actually find out whether the biographies were true. As in my case, I wrote my biography, and people were sent to my native village to ask about my background. So it is not possible to hide uh, anything in the biography. For that reason, it is easy to find out whether anyone was involved with the uh, Lunar soldiers based on the biography, as they had to go to their native village, and then they would secretly monitor them in their current unit. That's how it was done. Question. Did you know from Question. when was the biography uh, started? Quand a-t-on commencé à utiliser ces biographies? Answer. Réponse. Let me give an example. When I joined the army, I really hated to write my biography, including my name to my place of birth. So the biography was already done by the time. It means that for all the soldiers or civil servants, when they started engaging in their work of employment or the service, then they had to write their biography. biography. And during the war time, whether the biography was good or not, the, the force would be retained. But in 1977 or 1978, for those people who had the inclinations during the screening process, then they would be removed and transferred to other locations to raise chickens, pigs, or to plant cotton or break rocks, as just stated. Question. For the making of a biography in 1976, 77, or 78, as you stated, was it a party's policy, or did you yourself uh, come up with the decision of making a biography? Ces biographies étaient-elles rédigées suite à une politique du parti Answer. ou de votre propre That chef. was the policy implemented Réponse. within the military. Politique mise en œuvre au sein de Allow me to say that that was the common practice Et even for the current military. Everybody commune, has to make their biography in the military service. Tout le monde doit rédiger sa biographie en prenant son service militaire. This is my last question, and question. it is related again to question. making a biography. After the soldiers uh, made their biographies, and that you had to decide whether they had any involvement with the lunar soldiers, or whether the biographies had to be sent some way or to the upper echelon for a decision to be made. De faire la sélection et d'identifier des soldats qui entretenaient des liens avec des soldats de l'ONU. Allow me to answer briefly. At my level, we had no authority to decide on the biographies. Of course, we would ask the subordinates to make biographies, and then their biographies would be sent further to the upper echelon. Question: What was the highest level of biography that you had to send the 
the highest level of upper echelon where you hate to send the biographies to? Vers les échelons supérieurs. Au sujet de ces biographies, Answer. quel était le plus haut niveau For example, if I was at a battalion level, then the biographies would be sent to the regiment, and the regiment would send further to the brigades or the division or to the high upper echelon where the decisions would be made. Thank you, Mr. Ian Pan. I have no further question for you, and thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you. The floor is now given to the Lead co lawyers to put the questions to this witness that you may proceed. But, uh, Mr. President, Maître the assigned Pan, lawyer is Chit Wandi Maître and Christine Chit Martino may be seek your permission. Martino, President, yes, they may do avec so. With your authorization, the President, yes, please. Chit Wandi. Good morning, Maître Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, Mr. Ying Pan. Bonjour, Mr. Ying Pan. My name is Jet Van Le, the, lead, Van Le. the co lawyer, the lawyer for civil parties. Avocate de la partie this morning, uh, you made uh, several statements to this court. And I only have a few matin, additional questions for clarification from you. Répondu devant cette chambre et j'ai encore quelques questions à vous poser à titre de clarification. Do you had a military commander role in the Khmer Rouge military force? Au sein des forces des My Khmer question Rouge. is. In what year did you become a party's member in the military? En quelle année êtes-vous devenu membre du parti? Answer. I became a party's member in 1975, that is after the liberation of Phnom Penh. après la libération de Phnom Penh. Thank you. Question. Question. When Merci. you became a party's member in 1975, what was your role? Answer, I already stated Réponse. immediately after the liberation, I was déjà at the battalion level. Après la libération, je, au niveau du bataillon. Thank you. You already Question. testified before Merci. this court that Dans votre déposition ici devant prior cette chambre, to 17 vous avez dit April 1975, you were in charge of attacking the spearhead at the Pochentong Airport. De mener contre and de you already Pochentong. stated that you prepared your force one month in Et advance. Vous avez dit avoir the question vos is, in the advance. anticipation of the attack, how many forces did you prepare? Did you de start the attack, attack before the complete victory on the 17th April 1975? Avant la victoire du 17 avril 1975. Answer. Réponse. The attack was not a just one-time attack and reached and then all the forces would gather up in this Gondok area. Nous nous sommes rassemblés. And Autour de, uh, before, Gondor. immediately before the 17th April 1975, Avant my special forces in fact attacked the, uh, the airport, and at that time the opposite forces uh, surrendered. Et, uh, l armée, l armée Thank you. When you attacked Question. the airport, what happened? Uh, what challenges uh, did you meet? Uh, could you describe the situation? 
quels sont les obstacles que vous avez rencontrés pour y arriver And so, I cannot recall everything. Réponse, However, je, for the attack on the airport, mais concernant l'assaut contre l'aéroport, my special forces were not the infantry. The infantry only uh, remained at the contour. Mm, je menais des forces from spéciales the, this et non pas l'infanterie. The airport, there were the lone of soldiers. Contour And in fact, we actually attacked them from euh, their behind, mm. from their back. Et nous And avons at that time, we actually attacked the the ammunition warehouse on at the airport, and then it exploded. And when airport, it exploded, uh, those yeah, lunar soldiers from that area to Kantuk, they, they raised their hands Lund and then they surrendered. Kuntuk, so we did not, in rendu. fact, engage in large-scale attack. Only the special unit was involved in the attack on the airport. Donc pas de Thank you. Échelle, Question. You said that during the attack, all the lunar soldiers raised their hands Question. and Merci. surrendered. Les soldats de What measures were taken against those defeated or surrendered the soldiers or those uh, prisoners of war? Answer. I already replied uh, to that uh, question. My main Réponse. duty was at the front battlefield. Moi, When those lunar soldiers surrendered, we would confiscate their weapons and ammunition, and they were sent along National Road Number 4 to the rear base. And as I stated, the principle 4, that the soldiers had to abide by was not to mistreat the prisoners of war during wartime. Thank you. Question. Question. Merci. Upon the complete control of the airport and the prisoners of war were gathered up, Une fois what que measures vous avez did you take, for example, to gather up or to collect guerre. the military uniforms and the weapons? Qu'avez-vous fait pour rassembler les uniformes et les armes? Answered. I supervised the special Réponse. unit, and the role of the special unit was to attack, and once the victory was gained, then we withdrew ourselves to the back. And for those people who gathered the spoils of war were the responsibility of the infantry. C'était l'infanterie qui était chargée de garder le butin de guerre. Thank you. Question. Merci. Question. After the Question. victory was gained against the Lunar soldiers, la victoire, what did you witness? What were the events like? What was the situation involving the civilians? Here, I like to refer to the situation of the civilians. Were they in a chaotic situation or were they si evacuated? Civils, or what happened to uh, those civilians? Ont été évacués, uh, Régnait-il une situation Answer. de chaos Que leur est-il devenu fact, I, uh, Réponse J'ai déjà répondu à cette question tout à l'heure. Après avoir remporté la victoire, les gens avaient déjà commencé à quitter la ville. Mais je n'étais pas au courant de l'évacuation. Bien sûr, les gens pendant les combats vont fuir de l'arrière. And they would continue to live until the city was emptied. And the situation was very confusing at the time. À ce que la ville soit vidée. Il y avait beaucoup de confusion à cette époque. Question. I still would like you Question. to clarify this event. You stated you were responsible for National Road Number 3 and National Road Number 4, and as you stated, the situation back then was very confusing. Can you tell us about the condition of the, the people as the people were fleeing the area? And of course, you were in charge of this control area and in charge of National Roads 3 and 4. You were responsible of the zone around the Cantonc and the routes National 3 and 4. Answer. As I stated, I was in the Comment special unit. 
And after the victory was achieved, I did not remain at one place, but I stated during the fighting the situation was confusing, but after the victory was achieved, then I would hand over the place to the infantry. And of course, I did not know the measures the infantry would take against uh, the, the people at the time. I was in the special unit. We did a sudden attack. And of course, we would uh, retreat after the victory. And then the infantry would take our place. And I observed the confusing situation, in fact, during the attack. And as I stated earlier, through a three months later, I was transferred elsewhere. We in a special unit, we did not remain in one place. Thank you. Question. This morning, you stated before the prosecution that after the victory was achieved, you saw people fleeing or leaving the area. But you did not uh, mention about anyone who actually oversaw the evacuation process. You stated that you attended a meeting with some for the attack on the airport and for the evacuation. So during the meeting, did you know who was in charge of the evacuation? Lors de cette réunion, vous a-t-on indiqué qui serait responsable de l'évacuation? Answer. Let, allow me to clarify first that uh, during the attack, people would flee the area in a chaotic way. And secondly, after the victory, I would hand over the area to the infantry. And thirdly, I would not know about the evacuation. At that time, there were the district committees and the executive committees who would oversee the situation of the civilians. I only can attest to what I saw or did, but I could not tell you about the, the district committees or the sector committees because this area was a part of Phnom Penh or Kampung Spu and it was not a part of Takai province, so I would not know who were the a Kampung Spu a committee or the Phnom Penh a committee at the time. The meetings were only purely of the military nature and affairs. Les réunions ne Thank you. Que des affaires militaires. In your record of interview with the co-investigating judges, that is document E3-419, in answer number 9, here in Khmer is 0047750, and in English 0041-1010, Zero seven and in French zero zero four three zero seven eight eight forty seven that you visited Phnom Penh after the liberation of Phnom Penh on 17 April 1975. My question is: during that trip, who actually authorized you to go? And when you arrived in Phnom Penh, what situation did you observe? Were people remained in Phnom Penh or there was the process of evacuation or Phnom Penh was already empty? You stated that uh, you went to Phnom Penh on two occasions, one was during the attack and second during the time that you visited Phnom Penh. And my question to that uh, point is that did you meet any of the senior leadership during these uh, two trips? Answer. Réponse. So at first, when I attacked in Pochentong, I did not go into Phnom Penh, but other unit went into Phnom Penh. So that was the responsibility of the other units. La responsabilité de ces autres Half a unités. month after the attack, I moved back to the Deux base. Après je suis vers la base. And then I, I asked for the permission to visit Phnom Penh. So when I arrived at Phnom Penh, there was no people, en ville, il y avait no ordinary people, personne. only soldiers were inside Phnom Penh. Que des dans la ville de Phnom Penh. And soldiers from different units. Des de différentes unités. So there were only soldiers inside Phnom Penh. Il y avait donc que des 
So I just visited Phnom Penh for only one day and then je I returned to my base. Une à Phnom Penh après quoi je suis allé vers ma base. Question. I would like you to clarify. Pourriez-vous préciser une chose? After you visited Phnom Penh, après what was the condition Phnom of Phnom the city Penh, like? So as you know, quelle était la situation en ville? Usually, a city is en full général, of people. Il y a beaucoup de monde dans une But ville. I want to ask, uh, what you see during your Vous visit to Phnom Penh at that time? Question. Sorry, answer. I réponse. did not see ordinary people over there. Je n'ai pas vu the city was quiet. Only Khmer soldiers calme, were over there. Il n'y avait que des soldats Khmer rouges. The markets were in chaos and material machinery were dammed on the road and there was no people over there. Sur les Question. Il avait so who authorized Question. you to visit Phnom Penh? Qui vous a autorisé à aller à Phnom Penh? Answer. So as I said, Réponse. I asked for the permission Comme je dit, je to visit Phnom Penh because I want to know what happened inside Phnom Penh. Je savoir ce qui se en ville. So, around 20 days after I attacked into Phnom Penh and then I asked for the permission to visit Phnom Penh. Plus tard, demandé so I do not know what happened immediately after the attack, but this is 20 days after the attack. Passé juste après Question. Je vous parle According to de your written record, se situant 20 jours plus tard. Uh, answer number five in your written record, la in document du document E3419, E ending in Khmer 49, ending in 49, and E ending in en French, ou en français. ending in 87, you stated that at the end of 1977, Ryan, the son-in-law of called you to attend a meeting at Tamok's house in Dakao. During the meeting, Tamok mentioned first the arrangement of troops to support the troops in the east to counter-attack to resist the Vietnamese troops. And secondly, Vous dites que lors de la réunion, to prepare the troop Tamok to a support dans la zone the troop in the unit, which il a dit il des uh, whose troop have been, have been withdrawn to the east. À la zone est. So I would like to ask you about the contents of the first meeting and the second meeting here. Sur les questions examinées lors de ces deux réunions. Answer. Réponse. That question has been asked earlier already. As I said, I attended a meeting at the Mox House with Mr. Sambut. The meeting was held in late 1977. At the time, the Khmer was fighting with the Vietnamese already. So the, force, the forces from the uh, southwest had been sent to Swaring to the east already, ahead of me. And the meeting was aimed to organize a troop to send my regiment to the east zone. As I said, there were five divisions in the east zone. Dans so my regiment my regiment and other three regiments in total four regiments regiment were sent to the east zone. So the meeting was aimed to organize la these troops and the aim of the meeting was to prepare uh, how to resist the Vietnamese troops, the Vietnamese attack. La resistance Question. Vietnamienne. What do you know about the Question. purchase of the cadres, cadres in the East Zone? Que savez-vous concernant des Answer. purges contre les cadres I do not know de la about zone that. Est? 
because I went over there in early 1978. And at the time, the purchase had been conducted already. I went over there uh, just for the sake of attacking. So after I got off the truck, and then I started the fighting. So I do not know about the purchase. Question. Question. So, which division participated in the purges of the E zone? Quelle division a participé à la purge de la zone est? Answer. Réponse. I do not know about the purges of the. Je ne suis pas au courant. Cadres in the East Zone. Purge des de la zone I do not know which division participated in that, in conducting the purges, because I was in the cave. Moi, and there were many divisions in the North Il y and avait in the East. Dans le Nord et dans so I do not know which divisions were Je assigned to carry out the purges in the East Zone. Ont reçu la tâche Question. De procéder à des purges dans la zone est. So do you know whether the division Question. from the center participate in the purges, si in conducting the purges? Du centre a participé à ces purges? Answer. Réponse. As I said, I do not know about that. Comme je dit, I do not know about the situation rien. in other zones. Je ne sais pas quelle était And la I do not know which division were assigned to carry out the purchase. Because when I arrived over there, I just participated in the fighting, in the combat. Question. Question. So, I would like to read Je vais vous lire Mr. Pre uh, the President. An extrait. Uh, I would like uh, the council to pay attention to Maître, the scope of the uh, trial. Ne perdez pas de vue la portée du présent procès. To the scope of the hearing which has been uh, decided upon. Uh, you have a lot of time and then you just ask a lot of questions. And you may not pay attention to the scope of the uh, hearing. Vous avez déjà posé so beaucoup de questions. please pay attention to that and je vous rappelle qu'il convient prepare your question in response to the scope of our trial. Cadre du présent procès. Council, thank you, Mr. President. La partie civile. I would like. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I will do that. Je ferai comme vous me l'avez indiqué. Mr. Witness, Monsieur le I would like to move to another topic. Je passe à autre chose. During the evacu evacuation of people out of Phnom Penh, Pendant were you aware Phnom of the Penh? policy regarding uh, the non-use of money and the closure of a market? Do you know about de that? Answer. De la monnaie. There was such policy from the upper echelon. Une telle politique avait été édictée par l'échelon supérieur. At the time, they used uh, the phrase, uh, "You have to rely on yourself. We do not need the Comme on le disait, aid il from foreign country. We do not use money. On n'avait pas besoin de l'aide extérieure. So on we had to do everything to help our, ourselves. tout faire. These are the slogans or the words used during that regime. Que l'on utilisait à l'époque de ce régime. Question. Question. Mr. President, because of time constraint, I would like to give the floor to my colleague to put question to de temps, je vais the witness. En là et the la President, you may proceed. Le président, je vous en prie. 
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Euh, Thank you very much, Mr. President. Juges, bonjour à tout le monde. Good morning bonjour, to you. Good morning to your témoin. honors and Je good morning to Mr. Brève. Witness. I will be very euh, brief. Monsieur le témoin, vous venez de, de Mr. parler Witness, de, you've just made mention de la politique of du régime Khmer Rouge. The Khmer Rouge vous nous avez dit tout à l'heure que vous étiez au parti. Um, vous avez dit, vous avez dit, je suppose, recevoir des formations. I assume that you received training. Can you please tell us what the party's position was vis-à-vis -vis the army, what kind of objectives had been set for the army during the Khmer Rouge regime? Response. Regarding military, I believe that I have answered a lot of relevant Je questions to this. Déjà à As de a soldier, I had uh, limited knowledge soldat, regarding political affairs because I sur had les questions to politique engage more on military trainings Je like for example shooting guns militaire, and engage in the battlefield so armes, i can say that i knew combats. very little about Donc, the political aspects of de this sur les aspects politiques lors des réunions euh, politiques que vous avez dû avoir, très certainement, en tant que militaire, mais aussi en tant que membre du parti, euh, je crois que le procureur vous en a parlé, peut-être ma consoeur aussi, euh, de cette revue Les Tendards Révolutionnaires, qui euh, reprenait euh, les objectifs euh, de, euh, du régime, et en particulier euh, les objectifs concernant l'armée. The objectives of the que, army. Uh, vous avez, en dehors de la défense de votre uh, pays, qui, now, aside est, from the objective est, est of defending the country, which is obviously is a um, military y avait and crucial goal, y avait et there was y mention aussi of une external un enemies, qui était internal enemies, de, uh, as well as a set goal uh, de, of de la nation edifying uh, donc, the nation. Uh, que vous avez été à une aide Sir, would you que militaire, uh, ask to dans les provide assistance dans les champs, other than uh, military assistance? Uh, ces années, uh, for example, were you asked to work in the cooperatives during 1975 to 1979? Response. After Phnom Penh was liberated, Après a few months la after that, I was sent Penh, by upper echelon tard, to border area with Vietnam to the Angkor Borei location. À Mongol Borei, près de la frontière when I was Vietnamienne. there, I and my troops uh, place, were partly assigned to defend the country, and others de in the group were asked to do farming, and we were asked to ensure that we could produce three tons Nous of rice per hectare, and uh, we worked very hard, Nous and we could see that the dur. rice we cultivated uh, was stacked uh, into heap, Le riz and que nous the huge amount of rice being produced uh, by the soldiers, and the policy, the great leap forward policy, made us Une politique qui était la politique du grand bond en avant, en vertu de rice. quoi nous devions à la fois défendre and le pays et cultiver what I learned about what happened at the Voilà ce que j'ai su know very concernant about what happened in the rear. le front. But part of Je sais the peu de choses concernant la situation à l'arrière. Doing farming Concernant to ensure les forces militaires, elles devaient sure notamment cultiver sufficient. la terre pour subvenir à ses propres forces. Merci, monsieur. 
Um, une autre Thank you, petite sir. question. Um, dans votre région à la frontière, question. à l'époque, ce n'était pas forcément uh, très calme, mais c'était quand même relativement region, calme time, encore, jusqu'en 1976, je suppose. Totally euh, Est-ce que vous aviez des contacts euh, avec la population civile, euh, en, en particulier vos militaires qui travaillaient la terre Est-ce que quelles qu étaient la, la, les relations que vous aviez dans cette région avec euh, la population civile Response. I also wish to make clear on this, and I already mentioned that part Comme je of some soldiers dit, had to defend the country at the border area near Vietnam and also à la frontière vietnamienne, cultivate et rice, et we cultiver du riz. with the civilians. Nous avons and travaillé we had avec very les good civils. cooperation with La the people, the civilians in the civils country, and bonne. we became the role model Nous military unit uh, regarding how model. we cooperated well with the villagers. Du fait de notre bonne coopération we avec les villageois, improvised some tools and machines so that they could be used as the pump machines to irrigate uh, water for the paddy fields. Irriguer les rizières. Dans cette population civile, vous parlez des villageois, and mais, among the um, civilians, you talked about vous villagers, tout à vous and you stated earlier vu, en tous les that cas, you yourself que, were an um, eyewitness Pen avait été évacué, que les villes avaient été évacuées. Je pense que Takeo euh, a peut-être moins été évacué, mais il y a eu aussi des évacuations other, uh, dans la région. Donc, c'est déporté ce peuple nouveau you dont vous avez entendu parler dans vos réunions politiques. Euh, quelles relations aviez-vous avec ces gens qui kind of n'étaient pas du village du coin, mais qui uh, avaient été déplacés uh, et qui allaient uh, 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 être par la suite Response. I briefly mentioned on this as a soldier déjà who peu parlé. was deployed to the border area en tant que soldat I déployé près de la had frontière. contact with the civilians in Angkor Bharat in the paddy fields. Les but when I, come, rizières, when I came back home, Boreille. I only made friends with Mais those people je suis who were chez moi, evacuated, uh, but only some of them, not all the evacuees, because uh, we were évacués, afraid uh, to avec tous. talk to en the effet, 17th of April, 1975. People avril. and uh, we would not be brave enough to discuss nous any pas matter with these people. I may talk to only some of my relatives uh, who are very eux. well known to me. Je parlais uniquement avec des membres de ma famille que je connaissais bien. Monsieur. Um, pourquoi aviez-vous peur de parler so au 17 avril, comme vous dites, au peuple nouveau Ce serait people. dans la logique you to 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 avoir new peur de ce qui se passait, vu qu'ils étaient déportés, déplacés. Pourquoi vous aviez peur Pourquoi vous aviez peur de parler à ces personnes qui ont été transférées Pourquoi vous aviez peur de parler à ces personnes Réponse. Je ne sais pas si vous avez It was none of the soldiers' business to talk to people. When I had the opportunity to visit my hometown, I may talk or meet 
people who were my relatives, but we were not allowed. Or it would be very risky indeed to engage in a conversation with strangers or people who were evacuees. And uh, we as soldiers uh, would be questioned a lot if we were seen talking to new people. And at that time, such questions would be put uh, by the chief of sector or le the secretary of the zone, le de zone, and the question would not be easy to answer if we were believed to have talked to the Et new si people. So, nous avions été vus all en train de avec les we, nouveaux, nous aurions dû répondre à des questions to in the meeting, difficiles. To in the meeting, and we Par exemple, s'il y avait une réunion, nous parlions vicinity. uniquement avec les participants à la réunion et avec personne d'autre. Messieurs, <coughs> pourquoi um, vous dites que ce serait, si on vous voyait parler avec des membres, enfin des peuples nouveaux, si on peut dire ça comme ça, les chefs de village ou de district pouvaient vous chercher des problèmes Comment étaient vus to be frowned upon. How were the new people perceived? Were they considered enemies? Were they considered dangerous to the regime? Since you were with the villagers living in the region, why did you feel that the April 17th people, the new people, were placed in such a complicated predicament? Response. To make it clear, at that time, people were assigned with different tasks. For example, the new people would be administered differently from the base people. And in the military, we had our own assignments and duties, and without all the things that fall outside the scope of our authority or assignment, we would never wish to risk uh, putting our job on the line. And for that, uh, soldiers uh, did not engage in conversations with the villagers or the civilians. Nous ne voulons pas prendre de risques. C'est pourquoi les soldats ne discutaient pas avec les civils. Euh, monsieur, euh, vous êtes rentré, dites-vous, euh, quelques Witness, fois dans votre village. You stated that you returned to your hometown. Euh, dans ce village, euh, est-ce que vous pourriez and nous expliquer comment town, euh, était organisé à la fois le, le travail et la situation euh, des villageois, de, de, peut-être de votre famille, et euh, des euh, personnes members, deportées, euh, us, du peuple nouveau, quelle était euh, la différence de traitement et pourquoi une différence de traitement Est-ce que c'était intégré ou apparemment uh, if they were new people or base people or if they were locaux. being integrated with the locals. Aussi dans les Can you please tell us what the situation was or what you heard during the political meetings? Every time I visited my village, I noted that the new people and the base people mingle well together. They appear to have the same food ration. And at that time, I did not see a lot of people having rice porridge. They Je pas vu les gens ate manger de la steamed de riz. rice les gens instead, and they were equally treated. The village was in a very rich 
the village um, was in a very wealthy area. I have one last question for you, sir. Let's go back to something you stated. You said that you were afraid. Earlier, you said that you were afraid to talk to the new people. And when you made um, that statement before this chamber approximately one hour ago in response to a question by the co-prosecutor, you seem to be uh, intimating a sense of fear that emanated from outside, uh, from the environment or from a higher level. Can you please uh, ex describe in greater detail that fear you harbored? Response. Everyone was fearful. Tout le monde it doesn't matter whether they are new people or the based people. Les nouveaux comme les membres du peuple de base. Any meeting without proper arrangement would not be allowed. Aucune réunion informelle n'était autorisée. I am talking about a meeting when a lot of people would gather. Je vous parle ici d'un so grand such rassemblement. Such meeting had to be organized Ce type de rassemblement devait être organisé et approuvé. And if you, if you would like to talk to a few people si outside of the meeting, you would do that at réunion, your own risk. Uh, but if you organize a small terrible. gathering, si vous then such gathering must uh, be authorized. If not, then you would have all the reason préalable. to be fearful. Faute de quoi, vous aviez de bonnes raisons d'avoir peur. Oui, mais uh, pourquoi yes, cette peur? Qui, but why? Uh, why have the fear? Même des militaires, Who's vous avez carrière assez exceptionnelle, you yourself, you had carried out a rather exceptional career before 1975 and before the regime and afterwards, you fared vous very vous avez well, peur. you survived, and yet you stated that you were afraid. Who was responsible for instilling that fear and why? Response. Everyone was fearful. In the military, people peur. were fearful. We were afraid. Dans on avait peur. For example, we would be asked uh, to submit our biographies. After the biographies uh, were submitted, then people would come to check our background again. At that time, although I was uh, holding a higher position, I had uh, some relatives who once lived in Phnom Penh, and I was afraid that my affiliation my Et relationship would uh, jeopardize uh, my position. That was the fear, whether it was genuine or not. Everyone was fearful. This fear atmosphere was seen both in the military and also among the civilians. And I just don't understand or can't exactly tell you when such fear was instilled in the first place. But to tell you the truth, uh, at that time, the policy was rather strict, and people had to mind their own business only. People would not be expected to understand everything in detail, and there was no um, time when such an uh, intimidating environment would be read out in a meeting, but we were just fearful. Je reprends. Um, il y avait une politique effectivement très, très compartimentée. Uh, je comprends There was a bien, very compartmentalized, fragmented policy. Toujours, I understand on, that. On avait peur 
but you stated you we were afraid, and you didn't say who you were afraid of, or what you were afraid of, or why there was fear. You simply made the statement, were you afraid of your superiors, were you afraid of the leaders, were you, who was responsible for causing that fear that reigned? Response. During that time, I myself did not even know would be the most senior people. Je ne I only pas knew the commanders of the division and Tamok, uh, who Je was in Takao. I knew no one above them. Tamok, so when it comes to fear, des, uh, I and my subordinates and other commanders peur. were fearful. Moi, and we and just did not know why peur. such a, a atmosphere uh, existed. Uh, we just did not know how the fear could be uh, instilled uh, or from home. But uh, we just felt that way. The policy the, uh, of intimidating was not uh, disseminated. Microphone, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. That brings me to a conclusion of my cross-examination. The President, uh, thank you, councils, and thank you, Mr. Witness. It is now appropriate moment for adjournment. The chamber will adjourn uh, until 1.30 p.m. Court officer is now directed to assist uh, the witness and his jury council and have them return to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. Security personnel are now directed to bring Mr. Kusumpan to his holding cell and have him return to the courtroom when the next session resumes at 1.30. The court is adjourned.